Hello neighborhood mystics and welcome to another episode of how to read tarot cards for beginners. So we're still working with suit combinations using just the pip cards or just the numbered cards. So we've got the ace of cups here, um, which is about heart opening, fulfillment, flowing, pleasure, happiness, friendship, love, combined with uh, swords, the suit of swords. Um, the sword suit is probably the quote unquote most negative suit of the deck. It represents problems, conflicts, arguments, um, barriers. Um, it's areas where you, where decisions need to be made and there, they might be hard decisions. Um, de definitely with the, the pictures on the tarot cards, it is focused more towards those difficult, difficult de decisions. It can be separations. Um, and it's also mental, any, any kind of mental activity. So once again, it's kind of, um, biased towards, uh, the mental activity which keeps us stuck, which keeps us in bad feelings, which keeps us depressed and upset. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm just, I'm just telling you how it is. And you know, in a lot, in a lot of tarot decks, you will see certain authors will try to lighten this suit up a little bit, but generally that's what it's about. So the, I guess the deal with the, the swords is, is like, you always have a choice. It, it might, it might be a hard choice but the choice is always there. And so you need, you know, you need to, to make, a, make a choice or make a decision about, about something. You have to separate things, you know, like into black and white and like wheat from chaff to, to, to get through the issue brought up by the swords. So we start out with the Ace of Cups plus the Ace of Swords. So these are both about potential. So, um, you know, with the Ace of Cups, we have we have the potential to feel good and to feel positive and to make friendships and to fall in love and, and have good things come to us and be appreciative. And with the Ace of Swords, uh, like I said, this could be an invitation and a new way of thinking about things, a new perspective on things, or it could be, you know, a new idea that you want to write or speak about. Um, you know, it could be uh, uh, the potential for things to, you know, deteriorate and fall into to conflict. But I mean, that's not really where we like to go with the potentiality of swords. We're going to keep it on the positive side. So the positive side is just what I was just talking about. Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. While you're here, let me pull a card for you. Subscribe if you'd like to learn to read your life like a psychic. With the Ace of Cups plus the Two of Swords, with the Two of Swords, um, this is our, our de decision point. Like we have two things come together. And so then um, we have to decide yay or nay, yes or no, uh, which is better, which way am I going to go? Um, and so... Um, you know, you're at, we're at a choice point. So it's like, you know, as I've been saying with this Ace of Cups, this is all about, it's like, can I feel good about making a decision? Can I feel good about not making a decision right now? Um, you know, can I feel good no matter what decision I make kind of thing? So that's some thoughts around the Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. Ace of Cups and Three of Swords. Okay, so three of swords is um, sorrow, how heartbreak, you find something out and it's very upsetting. Um, it can also be missing information. That's one of my little personal quirks with this, this card, the three of swords. It's like you might not have the full picture. So once again, it's like these, these sword cards have to deal with perspectives. So it's like your, per your perspective is skewed because you're missing a piece of information. So it's making it look a certain way, but you don't have the full picture. So with the Ace of Cups, it's like, you know, can you, can you go ahead and flow with the situation as it is knowing that you don't have the full picture? Uh, can you appreciate somebody um, or you, can you forgive somebody even if they, they stabbed you in the back or they broke your heart? You know, the, these kind of things. Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords, okay? so. Um, you know, the four swords, we've got a little, a little fortress built around us and it's like, 
you know what? I'm so spun up in my head thinking about this that I just need to take a break. That's what the Four of Swords is about. So, um, you know, can you feel good about uh, taking a break? Can you, when you're taking that break, kind of let those emotions flow so that you can process them and deal with them uh, and sort out your feelings about how you feel about something? Ace of Club Cups plus Five of Swords. So, um, you know, Five is is our card of change and upset. So, you know, this Five of Swords can be um, a, like a serious argument with someone. It's, it's it's and and you feel very strongly. It's like it's like a, an argument to the death, or it's like a do or die. It's, it's not like, oh, we just had a disagreement. It's like, oh, this is the friendship split. It's, it's going south over this issue kind of thing. That's the way I see the Five of Swords. So once again, can you, know, can you bring emotional healing to a situation like that where you had a very serious argument with someone and you can't see their point of view or they can't see yours or, or you know, whatever it is that's keeping you separated? It's like, is, is there a possible way to heal that? Is there a way to bring that together? You know, I don't know. That's for you to answer when you're doing the reading or you're getting the reading. Six of Swords. So this is, um, you know, this is this is a more positive. It's like, okay, so now we're actually maybe kind of being able to come together here and kind of see both sides a little bit. And not only that, we're, we're, we're able to kind of try some solutions. You know, it's like a, a, a trial and error kind of thing. It's like, okay, let's try this. Let's try that. If it's not this, maybe it's that, you know, type of thing. Um, and so just being able to like slowly, step by step in a very methodical way, work through something. And then once again, with the cups, it's like, can you keep, can you keep flowing? Can you keep, keep the good attitude so you can keep trying? Cause like, if you just keep fail, 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 like Edison made the, the light bulb when he made it, he said, I found like 10,000 ways not to make a light bulb work. It's like when you're, you know, when you're on 999 failure, this like this combination didn't work. Can you keep going? Ace of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So, um, you know, it's like uh, it can be a, a few different things. It's like, uh, are you are you? Are you trying to protect yourself too much or like are you like being overly paranoid about getting things taken from you are you trying to like kind of grab yours before anybody else does kind of thing so it's like can you kind of heal that a little bit of that paranoia that you're feeling or the seven to me also has to do with planning so it's like um you know, can, can you make a plan and work your plan and, and, and can, you know, can you feel good about it? Can you involve other people? Um, and are you good with kind of letting uh, things happen as they may in the spots that you actually can't plan out at this point? Ace of Cups and Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is, is the classic being kind of caught up in your, in your own perspective and your own way of seeing the world so it's like you're fenced in by the thought constructs you have around something so it's like you know you believe it's one way like you believe it's marriage and death do until death do us part and you can't get out of that you can't get out of that mental construct that that's the way it's supposed to be and it's not that way that's why you're upset and so but you can't you can't release yourself from that that cage of thinking so once again with the cups it's like uh is there somebody you trust that you can talk to is there a way for you to work through these emotions being able to like you know feel your feelings and, and flow with them and sit with them so that you can kind of like settle and release yourself from the mental cage Nine of Swords and Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is another card with mental constructs, with worries, keeping you up at night, stuff that's not really real. A lot of times this can be stuff that you inherited from your family. So a lot of times where it's like um, you have roadblocks and stuff that you can't get through, it's because of kind of like your family DNA type things where it's like, 
you know, we're the Smiths and we, the Smiths don't work in restaurants or we're the Smiths and the Smiths, uh, you know, they always have, Smiths always have lots of kids or whatever. So it's like you have these mental constructs, you don't even know where they come from and they're just like making you crazy um, because it's like a program that's, that's running. So once again, the Ace of Cups, you're looking for the healing. You're looking to be able to work through the emotions. You're working. You're looking for somebody that you can, um, you know, be emotionally safe with to share with. You know, th these kind of things to help free you from once again from this mental cage. Uh, the Ten of Swords is about endings and beginnings. So, you know, when something ends, you can either feel happy about it, or you can feel sad about it, you can feel neutral about it. Um, a lot of times when you know when things end or things begin there's really nothing you can do about it so it's your choice how you're going to feel about it so this i mean I, I feel like this ace of cups really amplifies this ten of swords message that you know stuff happens it but it's like how you react to and feel about it is your choice you know your kids are going to grow up and they're going to leave the house it, you can't stop it it's going to happen they're going to turn 18 and they're they're gonna leave and they're gonna start a new beginning so it's an ending and a beginning so how you feel about that is up to you so join me next time and we'll keep going with these tarot card combinations please let me know in the comments if these are helpful to you or not and what other questions you have and i'll see you next time
Thank <laughs> you. 